Good morning, student. Today, chemistry class, twelfth chemistry class. That is a solution lesson. Previous class, so far we are discussing about solution, vapor pressure, uh, solid solution, liquid solution, gaseous solution, vapor pressure of the solution, and ideal solution. <coughs> Type of uh, so liquid solution is a two types. One is a uh, ideal solution and a non-ideal solution. Last class we are discussing about ideal solution. We are learning about ideal solution. This class we are discussing about non-ideal solution. Non-ideal solution. First of all, what is the meaning of ideal solution? <coughs> this is two solution is a mixing. Maybe component A and component B is a mixing. The resultant solution to follow obey the round law. Obeying round law. Obey round law is known as ideal solution. This is known as ideal solution. <coughs> but ideal solution, 100% ideal solution is not possible. Some deviation is there. That deviation is known as non-ideal solution. That is a non-ideal solution. <coughs> First, what is the meaning of non-ideal solution? A solution which does not obey Raoult law. Raoult law does not obey Raoult law is known as Non ideal solution does not obey. Route law is known as non ideal solution. This is known as non ideal solution. <coughs> so, route law, what is the formula of route law? That is the pressure of partial pressure of compound A in solution, mole fraction of A, and Q compound pressure. That is pressure of compound A directly proportional to the mole fraction. No, this is a route law. This is a Raoult law, but this law is not obeyed. This law is not obeyed. That solution is known as non-ideal solution. If you do component is present, component A Raoult law is component B. This is the Raoult law. This is a Raoult law, but this law does not obey. That is known as that is not equal. That is partial pressure of component A is not equal to mole fraction and mole fraction of component A and component A with Q pressures. That is a partial pressure of component B in solution is not equal to mole fraction of component B and pure component B partial pressure vapor pressures. Okay, this is a Raoult law. This law is not obeying. That solution is known as non-ideal solution. <coughs> non-ideal solution. Okay. Now previous class, non-ideal solution. Delta H mixing equal to zero. Delta V mixing is equal to zero. Delta S mixing. Delta S mixing is not equal to zero. Delta G mixing. Is less than zero. You know this is ideal solution. Ideal solution. That is <coughs> mixing of any two solution to form ideal solution. The enthalpy does not change. The enthalpy change in enthalpy. That is a mixing enthalpy is equal to zero. Mixing volume change in volume is equal to zero. Entropy mixing entropy is not equal to zero for ideal solution. Delta G is less than zero. That is a negative value. Delta G is a negative value. This is only property for ideal solution. Only property for ideal solution. But here non-ideal solution. Change in enthalpy of mixing and change in volume of mixing is not zero. Is not zero. This is a very important. Not equal to zero. Maybe past. Maybe delta H mixing is positive. Delta H mixing is a positive or negative. Delta mixing, delta V mixing, volume mixing may be positive or negative. We will discuss about this topic. <coughs> so, delta H mixing is not equal to zero. Delta V mixing of volume is not equal to zero. This is known as ideal solution properties. Okay, non ideal solution. But ideal solution property delta H mixing is equal to zero. Delta V mixing. Mixing of volume is equal to zero. Entropy of mixing is not equal to zero. But entropy, that is Gibbs energy, 
mixing of its energy is less than zero. That is a negative value. That is known as negative value. This is this is the ideal solution property. One, two, three, four properties. Yeah. Delta x mixing is not equal to zero. Delta v mixing is not equal to zero. This is a non-ideal solution property. I am not sure about it. Now, why is a non-ideal solution is formed? You know, ideal solution graph. You know, previous class day. Ideal solution graph. This is the graph for ideal solution. This is a mole fraction. Component A equal to one. Component A is equal to zero. Component mole fraction of component B is zero. This is a one. This is ideal solution. Partial pressure of B. This is a partial pressure of B. That is a pure pressure. The pure component, pure solvent. Component B O pressures. Now component A pressures this. This is a component A. Total pressure. This is a total pressure. That is a linear. This is a P total pressure. <coughs> Total pressure. This is a linear. This is a linear. Linear pressure. This is a component A. This is a component B. Pressure. This is a linear. <coughs> this is the ideal solution graph. Ideal solution graph. Ideal solution graph. But solution. Most of the solution. 99% of the solution does not follow this graph. Maybe variation. That is a deviation takes place. Deviation. What is the reason? Okay, why? The vapor pressure of such a solution. This is an ideal solution. Non-ideal solution, vapor pressure. Vapor pressure, huh? that is a component A, component B. A and B. Now it is a mixing. Component A and B is a mixing. Mixing. <coughs> What can happen? This is one solution is formed. That is a non-ideal solution. That is a component A and B. In non-ideal solution, total vapor pressure, that is a total vapor pressure, such a solution, either high, high means this is high. The total pressure may be high or low. If it is high, pure component vapor pressure also high, but this is a correct vapor pressure. But deviation, high, B also high. B also is a high. The total vapor pressure that is also deviated from ideal nature. This is a total vapor pressure. The vapor pressure of such a solution either high, either high, or lower. Lower means decreasing. That is the lower values of non-ideal solutions. This is the graph lower values. The lower decreasing component B is a component A also decreasing. The total vapor pressure is a lower. This is a lower. So either high or lower that is predicted by Raoult law. This is a Raoult law pressure. Linear because Raoult law is a linear. Raoult law. What is the Raoult law? This is a Raoult law. This is a linear equation. So this is a linear. This is known as linear. But this is a deviation from linear. Higher or lower than predicted by Raoult. Suppose higher vapor pressure. This is a higher vapor pressure. Total vapor pressure. This is a higher total vapor pressure. This is a positive deviation. This is a positive deviation. Now lower vapor pressure. This is a lower vapor pressure. This is known as negative deviation. Negative deviation. Negative deviation. So higher vapor pressure is known as from Raoult law. Higher vapor pressure is known as positive deviation. Lower vapor pressure is known as negative deviation. We will discuss about positive deviation and negative deviation. Okay. Now. 
the two category non ideal solution non ideal solution have positive deviation non ideal solution does not obey raoult law does not obey raoult law that is positive deviation and negative deviation you will now see types of non ideal solution types of non ideal solution two type one is non ideal solution non ideal solution showing showing positive deviation positive deviation positive deviation second non ideal solution showing negative deviation showing negative deviation two category we will discuss about first positive deviation positive deviation positive deviation okay first example will write example positive deviation this example example of positive deviation so many example is there first example ethyl alcohol and cyclohexene cyclohexene first example second example acetone and carbon disulfide acetone plus carbon disulfide third example benzene and acetone benzene plus acetone fourth example carbon tetrachloride and chloroform carbon tetrachloride and chloroform chloroform fifth one example ethyl alcohol and water sixth sixth example acetone and ether acetone and ether and ethanol plus acetone seventh ethanol plus acetone okay this is the fast deviation first write the examples okay this solution so in non ideal solution fast deviation ethyl alcohol and cyclohexene generally ideal solution you know, same size shape and intermolecular force also same that is the ideal solution here Difference in size and intermolecular force also different. Ethyl alcohol and cyclohexene, positive deviation. Acetone, carbon disulfide, benzene plus acetone. These two solution is a mixing. Benzene plus acetone, carbon tetrachloride and chloroform. Five. Ethyl alcohol and water. So very very important. This is important. Alcohol and water. Ethyl alcohol and alcohol and water is a positive deviation. Acetone and ether. Acetone and ether. Now, ethyl alcohol plus acetone. Ethyl alcohol plus acetone. Now, this example we will consider. Seventh example we will consider for positive deviation. Ethyl alcohol plus acetone. Okay. Now, positive deviation. This is a two beaker. First beaker ethyl alcohol. Cu H by O H. This is the component A. This is the component B. This is the acetone CH3, C H3, C O C H3 acetone. Now you see, ethyl alcohol having hydrogen bond. Last year we studied hydrogen bond. This is ethyl C two H by O H. C two H by O H. C 
we do it by your rights, and so on. And so on. So what happened? In a solution, hydrogen bond is formed. In a solution, hydrogen bond. This oxygen electron empty element and hydrogen. Hydrogen bond is formed. This hydrogen bond is responsible for boiling point is high. That is means not high. It's a high. Level. So in a solution A, this is electron having one atom. Hydrogen bond is present. Hydrogen bond is present. Hydrogen bond is present. Okay. Now the B acetone is a mixing to the solution A. That is a solution A. Now this is A intermolecular force A and A. Ethanol and ethanol forces. Acetone intermolecular force B and B. B and B. <coughs> okay, what happens? Now it is a mixing. Two solution is a mixing. Mixing of two solution to form ideal or non-ideal solution. Yeah, mixing. Mixing. What happens when acetone is mixed with the alcohol? This hydrogen bond is a break. Hydrogen bond is a breaking, and this hydrogen bond is a breaking. So what happens? Individual molecule is separated. Individual molecule is separated. So it is a vapor pressure is increasing. Vapor pressure. Now acetone is a mixing. Here acetone also mixing. So this combination is a vapor total solution. Vapor pressure is increasing. That is. This is XA means 1, XB, Xi B is 0, Xi A is equal to 0, Xi B is equal to 1, Axel Xi A vapor pressure, Xi B vapor pressure. Okay? This is a total vapor pressure. This is for round one. This is for round one. When this solution is a mixing, so suppose A is component A, normal pressure will be increasing. Now acetone vapor pressure, that is the Xi B, is increasing. Then total vapor pressure also increasing. That total vapor pressure. This is the total vapor pressure also increasing. This is a positive deviation. This is the correct values, but this correct values does not following the solution. Because what's the reason? The hydrogen bond is a breaking, interaction is a breaking, so each molecule is a separated, so easily evaporated. A molecule, that is a ethanol, easily evaporated. Because when the acid bond mixes with the ethanol, the hydrogen bond is a breaking, so individual molecule is a maximum, so it is evaporated. So this is the round of our ethanol molecules, but when it is mixing with the acetone, this is Ethanol is a hydrogen bond is breaking, so vapor pressure, maximum number of molecules escaping, so it is a vapor pressure increasing. Then acetone also increasing. So total vapor pressure is a linear for our drop, but is increasing. But increasing. This is known as positive deviation. This deviation is known as positive deviation. This deviation is known as positive deviation. Okay? That's all. And one point is the more you know down positive deviations. Binary solution of component A. Component A. Component A and B. The interaction between the interaction between the
components A and B. Unlike components. Interaction between weaker than the interaction between like components. Interaction between the like components. Like components. A and A, B and B. So here binary solution A and B. That is ethanol and this. Ethanol and acetone is a mixing. The interaction between the unlike compound is unlike ethanol and acetone is unlike compound. Interaction between unlike compound yeah, are weaker pores. Ethanol, acetone is a mixing, is a weaker pores than unlike compound are weaker than interaction between the like compound. That is interaction force which is a high A A. And B B is a high than A B interaction. So interaction force A B is a low. Interaction force is a very low for A B only compound. So automatically this interaction force is a very low. Is easily evaporated. So maximum total pressure. Okay, this point is very important. Need point of view. Okay, now volume changes here. <coughs> Volume change and everything is there. So, total pressure is greater than P total. is greater than total pressure is greater than component A pressure and component B pressure. So it is a positive deviation. This is a positive deviation. This is a positive deviation. Here in this positive deviation delta H mixing Delta H is mixing is a positive value. You know, previous I told you, in non-ideal solution, delta H mixing and delta V mixing is not equal to zero. The delta H mixing is a positive. Delta V mixing, what is the value? Is also positive. It's always also, this is also positive. So, delta H positive means, is exothermic or endothermic? This is an endothermic reaction. When in these two solutions is a mixing, acetone and ethanol, acetone and ethanol, positive deviation solution is a mixing, it is a endothermic, that is means what happened? It is a mixing, atmosphere temperature is observing, atmosphere temperature is observing, that is an endothermic process, this is known as endothermic process. So, non ideal solution. Uh, volume also positive, that is increasing, that is the increasing. Positive value means what? Delta E is a increase of the dilution. Increase after dissolution, mixing, after mixing. Or dissolution or mixing. After mixing, this is very important for positive deviation. It's very important for positive deviation. That's a, this is a positive deviation. So, then next is negative deviation. <coughs> then negative deviation. Non-ideal solution have containing negative deviation. Generally, non-ideal solution does not obey it throughout the This is also not obeying, but previous topic, positive deviation, that is vapor pressure increasing. 
But here negative deviation means vapor pressure decreasing. Negative, na vapor pressure. The graph curve is a downward. Graph curve is downward. Examples. This is example of positive negative deviation. Example. Please note down. One is acetone plus anilin. Acetone plus anilin. Second example. Acetone plus chloroform.
या कॉम्पोनेंट ए मोल फ्रैक्शन जीरो बिकॉज कंप्लीट क्या होगा कॉम्पोनेंट बी मोल फ्रैक्शन इज वन ओके दिस इज अ कॉम्पोनेंट ए ग्राफ पेपर प्रेशर दैट इज अ प्योर कॉम्पोनेंट इन ए प्योर ओनली कॉम्पोनेंट ए मोल फ्रैक्शन वेपर प्रेशर पास कर दो एंड कॉम्पोनेंट बी दिस इज अ वेपर प्रेशर ग्राफ दिस इज अ मोल फ्रैक्शन मोल फ्रैक्शन ओके दैन बी बी इज अस्ट सर दिस इज बी दिस इज ए बिकॉज इज ए मोल फ्रैक्शन इज हाई सो इट इज हाई एज पर राउल टोटल वेपर प्रेशर वॉट इज टोटल वेपर प्रेशर दिस इज अटल वेपर प्रेशर सम ऑफ द Partial pressure of component B and component A. Partial pressure of these two components. This is a total vapor pressure. This is for Raoult law. Obey Raoult law. That is ideal solution graph. This graph applicable to ideal solution. Ideal solution. But when acetone is mixing with the chloroform, this deviation takes place. <coughs> deviation when a mixer mixer mixing of acetone and chloroform acetone and chloroform component a component b in a solution component a now it is a mixing component a and component b hydrogen bond is formed so molecule closely come the evaporation and slow Very low. Comparing pure component. So comparing pure component. So component A vapor pressure decreasing in solution. Now component B. What is the component B? This actually this is a round law. Ideal solution vapor pressure. But this two solution is mixing not ideal. So vapor pressure decreasing. decreasing so total vapor pressure this is also decreasing this is a p total this deviation is known as negative deviation this deviation is known as what negative deviation negative deviation okay that is a negative deviation see here, here interaction forces interaction force so interaction force is a high for after mixing two unlike component is a high this is a very low very very low so interaction force is high means it's not about is a slowly minimum amount is evaporated minimum amount is evaporated now this is a actual partial pressure solution of component a is a mole fraction of component pure component a less than bb is a less than p total is equal to Is less than let's say plus for negative deviation for negative deviation for negative deviation negative deviations. Okay. Now the topic over next enthalpy of mixing in negative deviation and volume mixing volume mixing. You know. Non ideal solution delta H mixing not equal to zero delta V mixing not equal to zero. This is a non ideal solution. Non ideal solution. Positive deviation. Positive deviation. 
delta h mixing is equal to positive delta v mixing is equal to positive delta v mixing is a positive for fast deviation for fast deviation but negative deviation delta h mixing is equal to negative delta v mixing equal to negative that is what is the meaning this is a exothermic negative deviation exothermic this is a fast to endothermic fast deviation endothermic and negative deviation exothermic this two solution is a mixing chloroform and acetone is a mixing exothermic process that is a dissolution of chloroform and acetone exothermic heat releasing exothermic process and volume also decreasing volume decreasing that is a negative volume decreasing is a negative so this is a non ideal solution this is a non ideal solution to category positive deviation and negative deviation positive deviation and negative deviation that's a non ideal solution so over next axiotropic mixer next to topic acetic mixer one comparison between ideal and non ideal solution is there comparison between ideal non ideal solution next class i will put here one graph uh, that is one table color you note down okay that is now acetic mixer is very important binary mixture that is a binary solution binary mixture and have same composition and have same composition composition does not vary that is a binary solution that has same composition in liquid and vapor form and vapor phase Vapor phase and boil at and the boil at constant temperature. Constant temperature and can distill and can distill distillation process and can distill unchanged in composition. Unchanged in composition, very important. Unchanged in composition. Unchanged in composition are known as acetic mixture. Acetic mixture. Okay. Now you will see how to. I will explain now. You see. Binary mixture. Say example is banana. You take a one of the results mixing of ethanol and water. The great example ethanol plus water. You take ethanol and water. Ethanol and water. What happens? By the way, mixture that have same composition in liquid vapor phase. That is now you say close. Close when it is open in air or atmospheric sunlight or sunlight or in or in kept in open air. What happens after sometimes ethanol and water is also evaporated. That is evaporation takes place. This vapor pressure, vapor pressure, vapor phase contain this vapor pressure. is contain ethanol plus water also you see binary mixture that can have same composition same composition in liquid and vapor phase same composition liquid phase ethanol and water vapor phase ethanol and water same composition liquid and vapor phase that is a same composition in liquid and vapor phase 
ni kula ada apa vapor ada ada composition the constant temperature and the solution can be saw distilled from distillation unchanged in compound distillation will separate the ethanol from water distillation process this is a distillation class starting in eighth standard cooling the leave a condenser this is leave a condenser to take the ethanol water That is, you remove water. Water by distillation. What happens? Ethanol is heating. Is heating. Water also evaporated, and ethanol also is evaporated, and is condensed. Ethanol plus water. No separation. That is, distilled and changed in the composition. Composition does not change. Only ethanol only is not possible. It's not possible. Otherwise, there is mixing of water also. That is the unchanged in composition. Unchanged in composition are known as azeotropic mixer. This mixer is a azeotropic mixer. This mixer is known as azeotropic. So it's very difficult, very difficult for hundred percent ethanol preparation. Hundred percent ethanol preparation is very difficult because. ethanol plus water that is known as azeotropic mixer when the distillation takes place water also is evaporated so it's not 100 percentage preparation of ethanol it is impossible because azeotropic mixer is so acidic so again i tell you azeotropic what is the definition binary mixer definitely is binary mixer as same composition in liquid and vapor phase same composition is ethanol and water in a the good state in a vapor state ethanol and water are so suppression vapor based and boil at a constant temperature this is a boiling a particular temperature is a boiling at constant temperature and carry this distillation is unchanged in composition this solution is known as azeotropic solution this solution is known as azeotropic solution one azeotropic mixer i will do it on table color in more down is very important for me Table color mixer, azeotropic mixer. Some example also in this table available in this table. It's not there in the textbook. This is component. Boiling point. Azeotropic boiling point. Components. Components. A and B. Two mixer binary solution. Boiling point. A boiling point. Component A boiling point. Component B boiling point. Azeotropic boiling point. Azeotropic boiling point. Azeotropic. Oh, first example, water plus ethanol. This is azeotropic mixture. Same composition, liquid state as well as vapor state. This is azeotropic composition. Water boiling point 373 Kelvin, and this is 351.5 Kelvin. Azeotropic boiling point 351.15 Kelvin. Okay, this is the first example. If you not Really, oh, this is very important. What is the azeotropic mixture? Water and ethanol. Second example: H2O and propyl alcohol. 71.69, 33 and 73. 
थ्री फिफ्टी पॉइंट सेवन थर्ड असिटोन एंड कार्बन डाइसल्फाइड सिक्सटी सेवन थ्री ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट टू फाइव असिट्रोपिक बाइंग पॉइंट थ्री ट्वेंटी नाइन पॉइंट टू फाइव कार्बन डे थ्री हंड्रेड नाइंटी पॉइंट टू फाइव असिट्रोपिक थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू फाइव फोर्थ क्लोरोफॉर्म एंड एथना थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फोर पॉइंट टू क्लोरोफॉर्म थ्री फिफ्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव इतना थ्री हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी टू पॉइंट थ्री दिस इज फॉर एसियोट्रोपिक मिक्स एंड बॉइलिंग द कॉम्पोनेंट दिस इफ यू नॉट मेमोराइज यू मेमोराइज व्हाट इज द एसियोट्रोपिक मिक्स एंड एग्जांपल इतना प्लस वाटर प्रोपेल आर नाम प्रोपेनल प्लस वाटर कार्बन डाइसल्फाइड एसिड और क्लोरोफॉर्म एंड इतना कार्बन डाइसल्फाइड एंड एसिटोन क्लोरोफॉर्म एंड इतना this is a asiotropic mixture this is what is the meaning of asiotropic mixture in a solution and vapor phase vapor phase same composition that is known as asiotropic and boiling point in a constant that is a constant this is a asiotropic mixture this is known as asiotropic mixture okay this is what maximum boiling point boiling point maximum maximum boiling point Now minimum boiling point of acetropic is the boiling point is very less. This is also very important. Then component. This is minimum boiling point. Boiling point minimum. Component A and component B. This is boiling point. Component A and component B. That is your group. That is your group in boiling point. Say example, water and HCl. Water boiling point three seventy three. This is hundred and eighty eight. The reverless hundred and eighty eight three eighty three. Asiotropic three eighty three. Sorry. This is now maximum boiling point. This is the minimum boiling point. This is minimum. This is a maximum boiling point. That second example, water was H type. Hydrogen I O F. Water boiling point three seventy three two thirty nine. This is a four hundred. Water plus nitric acid three seventy three three hundred fifty nine three nine three point five. Water plus perchloric acid perchloric acid. Three seventy three, three eighty, three four seventy six. Now, this is the maximum boiling point. Come, this is a isotropic mixer. Water and HCl, water and hydrogen ion, water and nitric acid, water and perchloric acid. HCl also is a perchloric acid. This is a isotropic. This is also a isotropic. Asiatropic in a liquid phase and vapor phase same composition. It's boiling at a constant boiling temperature and uh, it is uh, unchanged in a distillation. Okay, that is a here what is it? Maximum boiling point three eighty three four hundred. Water and this is asiatropic boiling point. Water and nitric acid three ninety three. Water and perchloric acid four hundred and seventy six. Highest. So that is a maximum boiling point. That is a maximum boiling point. This is a asiotropic mixture. To memorize this, that's a asiotropic water. Then <coughs> go 
Polygative property. Next important part. Properties. Polygative properties. Polygative properties. It's very important second part, the final part of this lesson. Polygative. What is the meaning of polygative? You know, previous class we learned about previous. This is a water. Okay, this is a water. Solvent, water, solvent. When it is open in air, that is kept in air. What happen? This water. So water is evaporated. to form air pressure air pressure pressure maximum air pressure because only solvent only is a present only solvent only is a present only solvent is a present no other solvent no other solvent okay now the same water water Then you add sodium chloride. Water plus sodium chloride. Non-volatile solution. Non-volatile. It's not evaporated. Only this is a volatile solvent. This is a non-volatile solution. What happens? Water solvent. In the solvent, sodium molecule is present. In the solution. This is H2O. So in the surface area, number of solvent molecule reduced by occupying any area, solid molecule. So number of molecule here one, two, three, four. But here maximum, maximum. You see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only what? What are molecules? Only when there is a non-volatile solution is added. Number of surface in a surface area, number of water molecules are reduced by occupying sodium chloride. So, what vapor pressure is? Less number of vapor pressure, low vapor pressure, low. Okay. So, about this relative lowering vapor pressure, studying of relative lowering vapor pressure is known as colligative property. Here, four properties. Are Colligative property one plus two properties relative lowering of vapor pressure relative lowering of vapor pressure relative lowering of vapor pressure now here vapor pressure decreasing huh? that is a lowering of vapor studying of relative lowering of vapor pressure one now second example. Depression of freezing point. Depression of freezing point. Freezing point of solute solvent. Freezing point of solvent. Freezing point of the solvent. Okay. So now this water is kept in. Uh, Freezer. What is the freezing point? Zero degree. Pure water freezing point is zero degree. When solid is added, freezing point decreasing. When pure solvent, pure liquids, that is a solvent, you add any impurities. Impurity means solid. This is a solvent. This is a solvent. This solvent freezing point decreasing, boiling point increasing. I already studied in the lower section. So when pure solvent impurities is added to the pure solvent, freezing point is a decreasing, boiling point is a elevation, elevation, increasing, boiling point increasing, or freezing point difference. This is a polygative property. Depression of freezing point. Third, elevation of boiling point. Elevation of 
boiling point. Point of the solvent. Boiling point of the solvent. Now fourth, osmotic pressure. Fourth, osmotic pressure of the solution. Osmotic pressure of the solution. Pressure of the solution. So this four property is known as polygative. Study on this four property. When solution, binary mixture solution, one solution, solute is mixed with the pure solvent. When it is mixed with the pure solvent, first low air vapor pressure. Pressure low air vapor pressure is decreasing. That is the relative low air vapor pressure. Second, freezing point. Pure solvent freezing point is greater than solution pressing point. That is decreasing when solute is mixing. Boiling point is elevation, increasing. Boiling point is increasing. Elevation of boiling point. Now, so boiling point of the solvent. We are discussing about the solvent. Vapor pressure of solvent. Vapor pressure of solvent. Relative vapor pressure of the solvent. We are these three properties only discussing with the solvent and fourth osmotic pressure of the solution when solution is mixing two component in mixing that dealing with uh, that is osmotic pressure solution osmotic pressure so this is a colligative property the four properties is over this lessons over okay first colligative property relative lowering of vapor pressure relative lowering of vapor pressure Colligative properties. <coughs> First, relative low area of vapor pressure. Vapor pressure decreasing. Okay. Relative low area of vapor pressure. That is. This is a pure water, only component, one component. This is vapor pressure. Then pure solvent plus one solute. That is water plus NaCl. So surface area occupied by solute particle. Vapor pressure decreasing. That is relative to low area of vapor pressure. Relative low area of vapor pressure. Okay, now we will discuss. What is the uses? This is the study of the polygative property. What is the use? That is simple concept. Uses of this is water. You add sodium chloride. Sodium chloride. Non volatile sodium. We study about lowering vapor pressure, we will find out the molecular mass of solute. Finding about the molecular mass of solute. Easily find about sodium chloride molecular mass. Easy to find out by studying about relating lowering vapor pressure. Which, which solute is added? The molecular mass of find out. That is the our target, polygative property target, okay? Now we see. This is a <coughs> relative wire of vapor pressure. You know, solution pressure around the solution pressure is equal to round the solvent mole fraction and solvent this is known as do you know this topic already studying about this <coughs> R, you see about this component 1 vapor pressure is equal to mole fraction of component 1 and pure vapor component vapor pressure pure solvent that is a solution vapor pressure. Okay, this is a round law. This is a round law. Now, 
delta P P1 that is decreasing vapor pressure this is decreasing vapor pressure decreasing vapor pressure that is pure compound vapor pressure minus solution vapor pressure pure compound this vapor pressure this is a P1 dash without any solute that is a vapor pressure now solute is added vapor pressure decreasing that is a P1 solution vapor pressure P1 so pure compound vapor pressure minus solution vapor pressure difference is equal to decreasing vapor pressure that is a lowering vapor pressure lowering vapor pressure okay now we know P1 dash minus this P1 one X1 Y1 P1 dash in this component is a P1 is a common 1 minus X1 into P1 that is delta P1 let it lower vapor pressure let it lower vapor pressure difference pure component solution vapor pressure minus that is a solution vapor pressure this is a high, this is a low because solid is all. Now, previous class I told you two component is a pressure in a solution. Two component is a pressure in a solution. In this two component solution, mole fraction of two component, summation of mole fraction of two component is equal to one. Previous class I did explain. Mole fraction, two component, sum of the mole fraction, all component is equal to one. So we want to x2 is equal to 1 minus that is i2 is equal to 1 minus i1 or x1 so 1 minus i1 is equal to i2 so delta p1 is equal to what is 1 minus i1 is x2 that is i2 i2 this is a mole fraction vapor pressure decreasing our relative vapor pressure is depending on other component of mole fraction, pure solution, the pure solvent, vapor pressure, vapor pressure. Okay, but we want and what? Molecular mass. Okay. <coughs> that is del P1 is equal to xyl P1 dash. Okay, now del P1 divided by P1 dash. Okay, del P1 divided by P1 dash. What del P1 what is this? 1 minus x1 P1 dash. Del P1 this is a del P1 by P1 dash. Pure component that vapor pressure. Ratio of solution uh, decreasing vapor pressure by pure compound vapor pressure. That is what this is you want to know, 1 minus xi1 this time is the Then v1 is equal to xi2 divided by P1 dash. So the P1 dash, P1 dash cancel. What? What is the value? Psi 2. Psi 2. Okay, this is a relative vapor pressure. This is known as relative vapor pressure. Or, you write this. Del P1. That is a low airing vapor pressure of the solution. Pure solvent vapor pressure. Is equal to P1 dash P1 P1 dash P1 dash is equal to pure solvent vapor pressure minus solution vapor pressure divided by solvent vapor pressure equal to what? Psi 2 mole fraction of solvent mole fraction of solvent mole fraction of solvent x psi 1 is a chi 1 is a solution mole fraction psi 2 is a mole fraction 
Now, next, next term, contribution is a 5 molecular mass. Molecular mass of solute. Okay, we know mole is equal to given mass by molar mass. Given mass by molar mass. So, N2, Xi2, Xi is in the N2. N1 plus N2, you know this is already known. Mole fraction of component 2 is equal to mole fraction of the mole of component 1, component 2 divided by total mole of the solution. Now it will substitute this I2, substitute by P is 1, 0, total P1 dash minus P1 by P1 dash this psi 2 instead of psi 2 you substitute n2 by n1 plus n2 n1 is equal to solvent solute moles n2 is equal to solvent moles n2 is equal to solvent moles Solvent. N2 solute. This is solute mold fraction. This is a solute mold fraction. N2 is a solute mold. N2 is a solute mold. Okay. Now, for dilute solution. For dilute solution. Dilute solution is solvent high or solute high. Solvent high. Comparative solute. Comparative solute molecules. That is a solvent is far greater than solute moles. Solvent mole is far far greater than solute mole. For dilute solution. So in this denominator, N2 is very less. So it is a real place. Then V1, P1 dash is equal to P1 dash, P1 by P1 dash is equal to N2 by N1. Because it is a very least amount for dilute solution. Dilute solution, solute very less amount, solute mode. Solute mode very very less, so it is a real place. That is N1 is far greater than N2. Okay, now next one. And the previous I already know P1 dash minus P1 by P1 dash. You take this only. P1 dash minus P1 by P1 dash is equal to N2 by N1. You know previous class you learn about mole is equal to given mass by molar mass already you know so n1 n2 what is the solute mole n2 solute moles n1 solvent mole okay that is w2 is equal to what n2 weight of solute weight of solute n2 Molecular beta solute. Molecular mass W1 beta solvent. M2 molecular beta solvent. Molecular beta solvent. Now you substitute. What is the N2? N2 by N1. That is what is N2? W2 by M2 divided by W1 by M1. W1 by M1. W1 by M1. I write here. Okay. W1 by M1. So, relative lowering of vapor pressure. Relative lowering of vapor pressure is equal to W2 
into m1 by m2 w1 this is a first formula for relative lowering air pressure relative lowering air pressure w2 into m1 m divided by m2 w1 okay this is delta t delta p1 relative air pressure decreasing divided by pure component pure solvent of the air pressure that is Relative lowering vapor pressure decreasing. So the W to W to what? Molecular, sir, weight of solvent, molecular weight of solute, molecular weight of solvent, weight of solvent. Okay. If you we want solute molecular weight M2, we want. Okay. This data is given. We find the solute molecular weight. Suppose this data is given M2 W2 W2 how much gram of added to the solute? So W2 is defined. So any three data is given. E is the fourth data is given. This is a relative lowering vapor pressure. This is known as relative lowering vapor pressure. This is the first qualitative properties. Okay, that's all. Today class over. Next class we will the elevation of boiling point. Freezing point of the solvent, elevation of boiling point of the solvent, freezing point of the solvent, osmotic pressure, and then both one half factor. So next class we will complete the. I will try this complete the lessons, and then next we will be learning about the problems, polygonal problems, mainly bending for polygonal problems, and MCQ question. Okay, we will discuss. We will see the next class. Thank you.